a recently discovered fault line in the Northeast may help explain why the 4.8 magnitude or magnitude 4.8 earthquake back in April had minimal impact near its epicenter in New Jersey that was felt by millions did damage 40 miles away in New York City. That's right. That new study was released by Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observation, and they identified the unusual movement along the fault back on April 5th, the fault line, I should say, and that was the day of the earthquake. Yeah, let's bring in Dr. Won Young Kim, one of the authors of this study, to provide insights into the findings. Dr. Kim, great to have you with us here on Fox Weather. This has been something, uh, it was like a cultural experience right yeah. across the region when this happened. Everybody felt it. There, there were a lot of questions. It was right with the with the eclipse too, which yes, didn't help out. It was kind frame. of space, the Earth, all kinds of things happening. Uh, what were the findings of this? How do they help uh, enhance our understanding of what exactly played out in April? Oh uh, yes, the earthquake is about magnitude five, four point eight. So it shake. It shook a lot of people. Millions of people felt from New Jersey up to about New York City, up to about New Hampshire. But surprisingly, there was very minor damage and less shaking in epicenter area. You know, epicenter area is called Tewksbury, New Jersey, about uh, 15 miles uh, west of uh, Morristown, not far away, about 50 miles from the New York City. So it was just puzzling why the many people felt in Northeast, much less people down to south, to uh, Philadelphia and further south to Virginia, but less people than northeast, as well as very little damage around the uh, epicenter area. So we look at the earthquake, what they call mechanism, how the earthquake progressed, and it looks like the earthquake fault was trending north-south direction, not along the run of the fault known in the area to the northeast, but nevertheless, rupture has uh, occurred about f five kilometers down, so about three, three miles below the Earth's surface. And so with that size and uh, depth, you may expect some damage in the absence area, but there was much less. However, again, many people, many millions of people yeah. in the New York City area, Northeast, felt. So we look at the data, and it turns out that Rupture was happening at about five kilometers below, and then it moved to the south, to the town. And I, I kind of want to talk what, about that, that south movement, because this did happen in New Jersey, but it was felt mostly yeah. up into New York and the tri-state area beyond us into uh, the New England region, yeah. for, per, to say. Yeah. What implications does that have on our understanding when it comes to the seismic activity for this region? Oh, so in this case, like earthquake, when the earthquake rupture started, then it will generate the earthquake's energies to the circular fall, right? Everywhere about the same intensity from the source. But then if you have certain peculiar earthquake, it can focus energy more to the one direction. So in this case, more to the northeast, much less to the backside southwest, okay? And then, you know, the rupture, the fault plane is not vertical, not horizontal, but it's about 45 degree dipping, dipping to the south, to the east. So when the rupture is occurring, then it has to, two chains. One, it goes up to the surface or going down or going to the north or south. Mm -hmm. In this case, on the 45 degree inclined fault plane, the energy mostly went to the northeast direction and to the south, to the downward, deeper, deeper Interesting. Part. Yeah, so yeah, Professor, much... Professor, we're up against it. Uh, we do want to dig uh, more into this yeah, study because sure. I think for so many people, okay. <laughs> it was 183,000 people that reported feeling this, yeah. and you know, a lot more people that didn't Maybe report didn't it. didn't report it. It was yeah. quite an experience across the whole region. Your study's fascinating, giving us a little bit more insight into how it actually played out. Uh, that's Professor at yes. the Lamont Dougherty Earth Observatory, Dr. Won Young Kim. Thanks for talking with us here on Fox Weather. You're welcome. Appreciate it.